Welcome, guys and gals, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Comics and Sweet Tea. Um, we're it's kind of a special show. Uh, we're going to get into something that a lot of people don't like to talk about, but we're going to cover it from kind of a uh, from from both sides. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody, all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the channel. This thing continues to grow out, and that's because of each and every one of you. Uh, we're going to talk politics and comics. Um, and I urge you to be a part of the conversation. Leave your thoughts and comments in the chat. Um, first of all, we're very blessed and privileged to live in the greatest country in the world, the United States of America, um, founded on freedom, you know, uh, democracy. I uh, hope you guys got out and did your civic duty, voted your conscience one way or the other, and that's okay. That's that's your right. That's my right. Um, just wanted to cover some things. You know, a lot of people say politics don't belong in comics. Uh, personally, I think that's horseshit. You know, um, opinions or something that it, it's a part of who we are you know we're we were raised certain ways and that formed our opinions and everybody has a different opinion and that's the great thing about living in this country you're entitled to your different opinion we have the freedom of speech you can say what you want to say that doesn't mean there's not consequences if you say the wrong thing but you're you're allowed to say what you want to say. And, um, you know, uh, there's been lots of discussion about censorship, uh, uh, trying to do away with the freedom of speech, um, that we're being censored in everything. <laughs> and I mean, you, you get out, you get on the internet and you look and you'll see it on, on both sides of everything. Um, so I, I, there's a good argument for that, and I'm against that. I'm against censorship. I think we're allowed to speak our minds. I think we should be allowed to speak our minds. Um, like I said, there's consequences if you say the wrong things, but it's your right to be able to say that. So, um, Without further ado, I've looked up several examples, you know, throughout history and comics. And uh, uh, lo and behold, one of the first comics, um, Superman, it goes way back. Um, uh they were they were there from the very first uh, Superman story in Action Comics number one. Uh, it started with Superman racing to the governor's mansion to save a falsely condemned man, continued with him roughing up a wife beater, and ended with him terrifying a corrupt lobbyist. So there from the very beginning of things, politics was a part of superman comic um we go on a few years later um into the pre-world war two into captain america number one uh everybody recognizes this cover it's been shown multiple times you've got captain america punching out adolf hitler uh this was Simon and Kirby's first issue in 1941, uh, showing what I mentioned just a second ago. And it was before the United States entered World War II. Um, there were uh, 
but they were also in Wonder Woman stories of uh, William Monton Marsden and H.C. Peter, where Wonder Woman preached female equality to her readers decades before the ERA. Um, they were there during World War II when Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster did a piece for Look Magazine about how Superman would end the war by bringing Hitler and Stalin before the world court in Switzerland. Um, they were there in 1946 when Stetson Kennedy and the producers of the Superman radio show used secret KKK passwords on the show to expose the KKK as a racist that they were. There's even been an entire book written about it called Superman vs. the Ku Klux Klan. They were there in the 40s and 50s when National Comics put socially conscious ads starring Superman and Batman into their books. And they were they were also there in the early days of Marvel, uh, where heroes were fighting dirty commies and every other villain was taking his orders directly from the Kremlin. Um, let's, we've, we've got another big example. Uh, they were there in Iron Man's origin. It has, uh, Iron Man fighting an evil warlord in Vietnam. Um, and of course, he was an American munitions manufacturer. Um, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko had Peter Parker encounter some campus protesters in the mid 60 issues of The Amazing Spider Man. Um, And I mean, the list goes on and on. You've got in the early 70s, you got Steve Englehart wrote a story art where Captain America discovered that the leader of, of the evil secret empire was actually a high ranking government official paralleling the country's disillusionment post Watergate. Um, a big one. Uh, was the X-Men, they became more political over time. They weren't that political to begin with, but as the subtext of anti-human prejudice became more pronounced, and Professor X and Magneto eventually evolved into the Martin Luther King and Malcolm X of the mutant world, I mean, it, it became huge. Um, another big one, uh, Danny O'Neill, Denny O'Neill, excuse me, Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, tackled a whole bunch of political issues and social ills. Um, you go on to The Dark Knight Returns. It was uh, a big commentary on the Reagan era more than it was about Batman. Um, and Commissioner Gordon even makes a speech about FDR in Pearl Harbor. Um, another pretty big one. You guys ought to recognize this one. Um, Watchmen looks at the political ramifications of superheroes with fifth time president Richard Nixon using Dr. Manhattan to win Vietnam and keep the Russians at bay. John Ostrander's version of the suicide squad showed that the politicians of the DCU had their own Iran Contra style shady dealings with the US government authorizing the use of supervillains as a dirty trick squad. Um, and don't forget all of the things that were shown in comics in the wake of 9 11. Um, I mean, yeah, I can remember the Spider Man issue by. John Romita Jr. 
that one really jumps out at me. Um, Ex Machina had politics weaved into its DNA as New York City a major and ex superhero Mitchell hundred saved one of the twin towers on nine eleven and dealt with the issues ranging from gay marriage to school vouchers. Um and we go on uh I mean, there's there's just so much out there. You got uh, V for Vendetta. I mean, remember, remember the fifth of November. You know, <laughs> I mean, there's there's so much in there, and I think where it it hello. I think. You know, where it kind of becomes a problem is uh, when um, when you you start to to when you start to get more from one direction. You know, that's that's where it really becomes a problem. Um, you need to have it shown from both sides. I mean, you, you it's just like <laughs> you, you, you've got yin and yang, you know, and you have to have both to have the balance. It's as simple as that. You can't be too one-sided because that becomes... That becomes censorship. You you've got to have it both ways. I mean, you might not like it. Um, one of the main issues I think is when you fundamentally change everything about a character to fit a political agenda. When um, you uh, basically undermine that character and everything that it was uh, founded on and it becomes something other than it was originally intended when you get a story for, for example when somebody goes out and writes a story and instead of just letting that story become kind of organic is when they set out with a political agenda to start with and they start to shape that character and turn it against everything that it was fundamentally created for in the first place. Like, you know, say you take a character that just is for the sake of argument, so you take a character that's been around forever. Um, that character was originally straight. And then, you know, just for the sake of a story, you turn him by or you turn him uh, gay or, or whatever. That's when it kind of puts a bad taste in people's mouth for a, a better, for lack of a, a better way to put it. You know, if you set out and you write a character that is that way to begin with, and uh, and you don't have to specifically concentrate on that, you just tell your story, and throughout the story, you find out these. Uh, as you character build, you find out this character, you know, might be bi or or might be gay or whatever or whatever. You know, it, it's when you don't do that, like I said, and you take something and you turn it and completely change it from what it was fundamentally created upon, the values that it was originally created on, and you change that, that's when people have a problem. You know, it's just like I said earlier, we live in the greatest country in the world, and we're allowed to 
to say what we want to say. You know, we that that's what we do. We communicate with each other, and we're very we're very passionate people. You know, some people try to hide their passions, and I think that's that's uh, I, you can get carried away. You can do that. Before I go any further, you can be overly passionate. But still, you shouldn't let, you know, people push you around for your beliefs. You, 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 they're your beliefs. You don't change who you are for somebody else. No, no matter what, you know, and it, it's a hard thing, you know, when people try to to bully people and, and push their ideas on by twisting the truth, twisting this, twisting that. Um, everybody's entitled to believe what they want to believe, whether it be right or whether it be wrong. I mean, but the information fed to them needs to be unbiased. You know, that's a, a big thing in our country right now that our media we can't believe it anymore because it seems like it's it's just coming from one direction i mean i can remember when i was a kid when dan rather and tom brokaw did the the world nightly news or whatever on the different stations if you, if you turn on the news and you found out what was going on in the world. you found out what the weather was going to be you found out that's not what the news is anymore. It's about uh, um, which celebrity is sleeping with, with what other celebrity, or this one's doing this. This it's all about ratings. That's not news. That's that's a uh, a gossip rag. I mean, who gives a shit what they're doing? I mean, <laughs> honestly, it's. That has nothing to do with anything about us. I mean, people are so caught up in the wrong things now with celebrity and all this horse shit, you know. Let's get back to living our lives and 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 being honest with each other and, and openly communicate with each other. It's <laughs> I mean, I've seen people, and I know you have to just get into almost, and have got into fist fights over this stuff. I mean, uh, what's the world coming to when we can't sit down and have a conversation and, and talk to one another about our beliefs? You know, just sit across from each other and say, "Hey, this is why I believe this," and not be, not be pushed or 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 lied to by some fake media, you know, let's, let's get back to unbiased bullshit. I, I mean, uh, get rid of the, the bullshit and get back to unbiased. Anyway, I'm getting off track, but actually I don't think I am. It, it's a sin and a shame that we're in the state that we're in now, you know, it really is that we can't just sit down and have those conversations. And um, I'm, I don't think we're too far gone. I, I really don't. Um, there's so many good people in this country. And it's, it's a shame what's being done to us as a people. It really is. Um, there's so much stress that life brings upon us. It's it's insane, and it's not just here. It's all across the world. There's all kind of bad things going on, and it would be nice if things would just calm down and we could talk to each other again. And I'm hoping, you know, that this election doesn't tear us apart that it will bring us closer together and and 
because it, it, it does feel like times are split right down the middle. And it shouldn't be that way. We're we're one country. We're we're you know, I mean there's there's no right and wrong in this. There's there's us. And we've got to stick together because at the end of the day, we we depend on one another. And it takes all of us to make this thing, this democracy work, this liberty, this, and, and we need to be an example to the world. So, um, I guess in closing, I, know I got kind of preachy there and I didn't mean to do that, but it's, it's, it's what it is. I mean, you guys understand. Um, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, like I said, be a part of the conversation. Leave your thoughts and comments uh, in the chat. We'll get those answered. Uh, be sure to, uh, to to share the channel with somebody. You know? um, I know a lot of you have, and I ask that you continue to do so. So... We can keep growing this thing out. And um, you guys have a blessed one. Uh, it's a great show. Just wanted to get all of this out there. Um, be sure to uh, follow me on uh, Instagram at uh, Jerry Cooley 77 uh, It's Jerry with a G. Jump on there to see all the posts I've been doing on my upcoming uh sci-fi comic bounty um i've got the uh the page posted up on kickstarter uh it's it's not live yet but what you can do you can go through my bio and you can go ahead and sign up to uh to get notified when i do launch the comic and uh, you'll know exactly when it hits so uh, appreciate your support on that Sign up, get in there, so you can be one of the first ones uh, to jump on the campaign once I launch it. Um, I'm going to drop it right there. You guys have a blessed one. That's the show. Until next week.